Hey everybody, it's Jules. Um, it's another late night video. It's close to 1 in the morning. And again, I can't sleep, so I decided to do um, a haul video on the Makeup Geek eyeshadows that I just got in the mail today. I actually got a few things in the mail today. I have been online shopping like crazy and no surprise, I guess, because um, I can't sleep, so I've got nothing else to do but shop. Um, anyway, let's get started on the Makeup Geek eyeshadows. And these are, um, I actually saw these on Jacqueline Hill. She's a makeup artist on YouTube. Um, I saw her, like, palettes and palettes of Makeup Geek eyeshadows, so I finally decided that, you know, I'm going to go ahead and try them. So... I got two, four, six, eight, nine colors. It came into it came in the box and it's inside this bubble wrap. So I haven't actually opened them. So it's gonna be a first peek along with you guys. Alright, so let's see what I got. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go by color themes. I got a few blues. And then the rest of them are neutral colors. So I'm going to start with the blue ones. Um, so I got the ones that are the eyeshadow pans because I'm planning on putting them on a palette. Um, this one just looks like this. They all came in a similar packaging, which is very pretty. And they look like the MAC ones, actually. So I think she meant to mirror MAC's uh, eyeshadow pans. Anyway, this one is called Nautica, and it's actually the exact same packaging as MAC. It's just theirs is much more prettier. Anyway, this is Nautica right here, and it's a navy blue color. And let me see if I have my, um... oh, there it is. I was looking for a hand towel but it looks like this oops a really nice blue and it's that color let's swatch it here uh, as far as pigmentation goes it's a decent pigmentation that's about two swatches and you know, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I love blues and greens, so I'm really going to enjoy this one. Um, so let me put that back. Okay, and then the next one. The next one is called Ocean Breeze. And it's in the same family of colors. They actually look a little different online. They, I didn't think it would be so dark. And it looks like that. Kind of looks like the same as the other one actually. And this is more of a gray blue while the other one is... Actually this is more blue green. And the other one's more a navy blue. So it's this color right here. Hope you can see that. Kind of looks the same. But, you know, up close, it's a little different. It has more of a green base to it. Alright. Kind of like the first color better. And then the next one is called Peacock. And um, these two have shimmers on it, and this one looks like a, a matte color. Again, another blue. I'm sorry, guys. I know it doesn't show up too, too well. Ooh. Ooh, I like this one. This is more like a blue-black right there. I love that one. Ooh. I'm going to wear that tomorrow night because I'm actually going out with a girlfriend of mine. I think I'm going to wear blue eyeshadows. Alright, so those are the three blues that I got. So I got Peacock, Nautica, and Ocean Breeze. 
Okay. And then the rest are neutral colors and one peachy color. So the peachy one that I got is called Mango Tango. It's more like a red peach, actually. And it looks like that. And the swatch is... So that's a two swatch. So it's a pretty color. Corally, actually. I'm excited about that one. Um, Alright, then the next one is... Uh, my mom. The next one is called Beaches and Cream. And this is the same color that Makeup Geek used on her recent pink and red um, eye makeup look on her channel. So it looks like this. It looks kind of gray in there, but it's actually a very light cream color. And it's a little sheen to it. Very slight sheen. I like it. It's going to be a good base and brow color for me. Okay. The next one is called Purely Naked. And I got this one. Um, online it looked really nude. And I just wanted to get like a, a neutral nude color. And it looks like this. And let me swatch it. Yeah, it's definitely nude. It's like the color of my skin with a slight shimmer to it. Yeah, you can't tell. <laughs> but that's how it looks. That's a good thing because I wanted something the color of my skin. So when I'm doing like a red lip and I wanted to have nude eyes... I could use this one and it's also going to be a good blending color if if I overdo like a like a smoky effect then I can use that to neutralize the edges all right the next color is called latte like the coffee and this is more of a matte dark brown color As you can see there and here's the swatch actually let me elongate it here's the swatch hope you can see it you know browns I think I have like a lot of neutral brown color. I don't know why I keep getting a lot of browns, but you know, that's really the color that I wear to work a lot. So I feel like I always need them. And I'm always looking for like the perfect brown, bronzy eyeshadow. Um, all right, so the next color I have is Taupe Notch. And this is a really beautiful color, I think. Um, I'm getting tanner on this side, so I'm going to swatch it up here. Ooh, this is pretty. It's that color right there. It's going to be a good contour color because it's more on the grayer side. So gray tends, like a gray-brown, tends to look much better contour on my skin. I don't know why, but... I find that a lot of the red or brown just makes my skin look muddy. So I have to go on the opposite spectrum of browns, I guess. And speaking of red or brown, I got one called Coco Bear. And it looks like that one. It's a little bit red. But, you know, online it looked really pretty. And 
it definitely looks gorgeous oh it's beautiful look at that whoo that's beautiful it's it's again it's a redder brown so I'm kind of scared how it's gonna look on me but it's such a beautiful color on my hand and I think it's gonna look good when I'm trying to go for my my neutral look so yeah um, those are the eyeshadows that I got again um, two four six nine colors um, I think I got a good selections she obviously has like 50 or more colors online but I have so many eyeshadows that I really just wanted to pick the ones that I wanted to get and there was another color that I wanted to get but she did not have it in stock I think it was a um, creme brulee or something like that because Jaclyn Hill talks about that um, eyeshadow so so much and she uses it a lot on her videos so I wanted to get one just like it um, and again she's like two shades lighter than me so it probably probably will look um, different on her as it would on me but you know a lot of these eyeshadows she also has and I'm pretty excited that I got them um, how much they are I think they're about five dollars to six dollars each compared to max I don't know twelve fifteen dollar eyeshadows so I think it's a pretty good deal um, and then you have to pay shipping which is a fixed three ninety nine so um, it's a good deal. I paid about $50 something plus or minus on all the eyeshadows and the shipping that I got and I'm very excited about them. Now I gotta get me a palette on Amazon.com so I could put these eyeshadows to use. Um, but yeah, I hope you liked that video and I hope it was helpful for you. Um, stay tuned because I'm gonna have a another haul and this time it's for um, Sedona Lace so I just got my package today too and it's this cute little bag of, I got a bunch of um, face brushes and also uh, a blush palette which I'm gonna show you on my next video so stay tuned for that and look out for it alright thanks again good night guys talk to you later